All right, guys. This is Matt. I'm headed back out. Um, haven't made a video in about a week. I, I made a little introduction video going back to finish up the framing of the walls. Um, but I, when I got there, the homeowner was there, and I, when we got done, I totally forgot. But anyway, going back over there today, we did finish those walls and going to do a little electrical work today. Um, I talked about those walls in that other introduction that I'm not going to play but the the putting about four head or top seals or whatever toe plates and the top boards you know in in theory that seemed like a better way to do it to save some money on uh cutting a 12 foot board all the way down to a 10 foot board but anyway that turned out to be a lot more work than it, it i was expecting or something so i didn't that wasn't a smart way to do it but i did learn did learn something from it so the other two walls we built for the closet which you'll see in a few minutes um, we just built those like normal but now the reason I'm going back is I had an electrician that promised me four different times that he was gonna be over here you know I had to have a licensed electrician and to run these wires and all that stuff is a permit pulled which you know I'm supposed to have you know not not supposed to do electrical work anyway um, so finally He's, I've, I had mentioned in passing to him after talking about the fourth or fifth time when he wouldn't get out there. Um, I mentioned to him in passing that, you know, my dad had been an electrician for 40 years, that we could we could do it. It's just, you know, we needed him to do it because of his license. And he said, well, if y'all want to go wired, I'll get the permit. I'll pull the permit and just, you know, approve it, look at it and approve it. So that was perfect for me. Now it's just a matter of getting his butt out there and getting that permit, and I still ain't got him to do that. So if I do all this wiring and he doesn't go get the permit, I'm gonna have to figure another way out. But you know, that's that's part of being a handyman, I guess, is solving problems. And and it'll get it'll get solved one way or the other. Just had to get another electrician and pull a permit. But anyway, um, going to going to wire it up today. I gotta move a light and add two lights and add a few receptacles. And hopefully I'm not gonna have to run all the way back to the main panel. Hopefully I can tie into the existing um, receptacles and all, as long as there's not too much on that circuit. So we'll have to test and see what all's on each circuit. And Pop is gonna be out there with me today. He's gonna meet me there. So anyway, I'm gonna knock that out and then I got one other little job to do and that'll be probably all for today. It's about 10 minutes to seven. Kids are out of school so I can get a little bit earlier start. So. We'll see how today goes. Be back in a second. All right, real quick, this is what we got. That's the longest wall. And again, I know it wasn't the best idea in the world to put all them top boards and bottom boards. But anyway, got that wall. Got to get a couple receptacles on. That wall, I figure I'll put one on it. Got this doorway, I'll end up installing a door here and have a closet here. I'm gonna put one light in this area. So, that's what we got. And I think oh, there's a receptacle behind that. Here, you can actually see it. I think we're just gonna take that and move it out here. All right, we're finishing up. Got the wire or the light moved over there. All the receptacles are wired up. Ain't much to see here, is it, Pop? It's all done now. Light up there. Yep. And that light, look at this. There's a wire up in the ceiling. Running that way to feed all of this. And that's it. Let's see, it is 1.45. So about five hours, something like that. That's it, time for an inspection. What do you think, Pop? It's all good, <laughs> it's all good. All right. 